In Life Writers, we study a published memoir every four or five months. We dig into it. We read the book as a writer. We do close reading to see what devices the author is using and to what effect. Then we apply those devices to our own writing. For the last two months, we've been studying such a unique memoir, and I'd love to tell you about it today. Hi, my name is Patricia Chapontier, and welcome to episode 76 of the Life Writers Vlog, where you can find inspiration and useful tips to help you write your life stories. The book we're studying in Life Writers now is called Solito, Solito, and it's by Javier Zamora. Solito is a Spanish word that means alone. And it represents how Zamora came to the United States, or La Usa, as he says it. He came alone as a nine-year-old boy, just nine years old, by himself. If you have strong personal or political beliefs about illegal immigration, this might not be the book for you. But if you are open to connecting to the experiences of a nine-year-old boy making his way to the United States to be reunited with his parents, this book will likely impact you in a profound way. I know it did me. Zamora is 33 years old now, an accomplished poet, and this is his first memoir. But I really hope it's not his last. I'd love to read the rest of the story of his young life and his American journey. Salito opens in El Salvador on March 16, 1999. This is where Zamora lives with his maternal grandparents and his aunt. He begins the first leg of his journey to La Usa, accompanied by his grandfather on April 6, 1999. A couple of weeks later, his grandfather says goodbye and Zamora travels with five other people and a coyote. I won't go further into the story because I believe this is a book everyone should read. It touched me in a deep way and helped me to understand what immigrants are willing to suffer through for a chance at a better life. I set aside the controversy and connected one human to another and believe I was changed for the better by experiencing these moments through Zamora's eyes. Zamora's prose is like poetry. It's vivid, detailed, beautiful, lyrical. Also, he writes the memoir in present tense, so you feel like this is happening right before your very eyes. And he writes in the voice of a nine-year-old boy, which is a remarkable feat. Sustaining a child's voice in a short work is difficult enough. I can't imagine doing it successfully across 375 pages. I felt Zamora's awe and hope in seeing flying fish during a grueling 24-hour boat ride. I felt the relief of tension after a harrowing experience in Mexico. I felt his fear and insecurity of being so young and undertaking a mission of this caliber. I felt Zamora's hope and determination to be reunited with his parents in La Usa. I also felt gratitude to have been born in a country, despite all of its problems, that is free, one where others are willing to sacrifice everything, including their lives, for a chance to live here. So tell me, have you read Solito? or are you in the process of reading it? If so, what did you think? How did it impact you? Is this a type of memoir you would be likely to read? I'd love to hear your thoughts about this book, 
but I don't want to hear your personal or political beliefs about illegal immigration. This is not the forum for that. But I would like to know your thoughts about Javier Zamora Salito. Share them down in the comment section below. And always remember, the only way to do this wrong is to not do it at all. The only way to do this wrong is to not do it at all. Until next time, everyone. Happy writing. Don't miss the next episode. Sign up to be notified of future posts and upcoming events. Use the buttons below to share this episode on social media or with a friend who might like it. If you enjoyed this week's episode, you will love our Life Writers membership. Whether you don't know where to start writing your life stories, have started and stopped many times, or have been writing but want to receive feedback to make your stories better, the Life Writers membership is where you need to be. We have a Get Started Roadmap, an extensive library of instructional videos, live events via Zoom, and a supportive and active community. If you want to take the stories that live in your heart and mind and put them into words on the page, check out LifeWriters at LifeWriters.us.